three-year exemption into the Brunswick World Tournament of Champions, also a spot on this year's Rikert Cup team. So you not only win this major tournament, but a three-year exemption into the TFC. And Lonnie Wolacek, the only player that uh, has not won a title. And he is out as Wiseman won match one. Comes right back, Danny Wiseman strikes on lane 25. And now we'll get a look at Dave Arnold, the uh, right-hander, 6'3", 165 pounds from Gilbert, Arizona. He's won a couple of PBA uh, national titles. 12 years on tour, 15 as a pro. Well, I don't think Mr. Arnold will be intimidated by Danny Wiseman and all that winning that he's done down through the years. Arnold, a very, very interesting player. Not, not very much emotion, very methodical, and uh, certainly a, a, one, of the, one of the top players on our tour over the past few years. Watch the beautiful backswing, the way that he lifts straight toward his target. Now, what was for, for a moment the 710 is nothing but a flat 10 pin. A look at Dave Arnold. Once again, it's that smooth, straight swing and the, the release right for the target is what I like to see so much. He switches balls, goes to a hard plastic ball, so he doesn't get as much friction on the lane, has no problem making the 10 pin. Wiseman now is up that uh, TV record to 31 and 13. And with every win that he has, Phil, it becomes easier for Danny Wiseman. You know, if you're winning a lot, it, it just becomes habit forming. Confidence just oozing. Danny Wiseman at this point brings it back, and it's a 10 pin. Isn't that the lane he never missed on last game? The best for Danny Wiseman after two frames will be a tie. Watch the six pin, second from the right. It's going to lay in the channel. Does not quite bounce back out to get the 10 pin. Wiseman expected it to. Didn't get it. Uh-oh. I think you heard him say hook. And it did. I heard him say hook. He had me scared, and he made it easy. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even close. We're all dead even here after two frames. Wiseman's in this grind-out tournament. He averaged 240 for the first six games and then settled down a little bit on this uh, demanding lane conditions at Imperial Lanes. Well, that's what you have to do, Phil. In a long format, you're going to have blocks where everything goes your way, and then you're going to have your tough ones. So you have to be able to, to ride the storm out, not worry about maybe the, the tough round that you had as we take a look at, watch the six pin attack this 10 pin. No problem. And the very tenacious reaction from Wiseman. Arnold back up in the third frame to tie. He does. Not a lot of emotion out of Arnold. Well, you won't see it, especially early in the match, but I've, I have seen Arnold, you know, get juiced up. It doesn't happen too often, but uh, toward the end of the game on a big shot, you'll see him show some emotion. He's saving himself, Phil. Couple of PBA titles. Pace yourself a little bit, all right. We saw Chris Barnes last week kind of go through an emotional roller coaster, but he saved the best for last and won in Erie in the flagship open. And we'll see Barnes coming up in the next match. Strike, Dave Arnold now with a double. And we have a dandy here in the second match. It's Arnold and... ...to have him just down the road from Akron watching our tournament. Not a bad bowler, you know. A uh, basketball doubleheader that you don't want to miss tonight on ESPN2. Starting at 6 o'clock, warm up with a black matchup between Tulsa and TCU. Then at 8 p.m., top-ranked Duke tries for a perfect ACC season as Elton Brand leads the Blue Devils against arch rival number 14, North Carolina, and Ed Cota. Be a part of the action starting at 6 on ESPN2, ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, Go.com, and top-ranked Duke. That should be a great one. Our oil this week, Phil, it was applied 28 feet and then buffed down to 40. Competitive condition. As Danny Wiseman finds himself trailing by 10 pins, he's not used to being on the 
other side of the victory. Got a hurry. Oh, he caught some oil down the lane. Yeah, he caught some oil and he caught some distraction on the right-hand side of the of the lane. Best way to pick this up, Marshall? Need to get the ball to the left side of the head pin. Knock the head pin into the 10. Seven national titles for Wiseman. Been on television a number of times. Hang on. And a boy, Danny. I'll tell you, that shows a lot of class right there, Phil. He was distracted on his last shot, but he was able to, to think himself through this, pick up and pick up the, the spare. Once again, the head pin left. Ball left of the head pin, and the head pin was thrown into the 10. See the way he looked off to the side a little bit to sort of he was sort of, he was looking to where the distraction came from, but uh, no problem as he takes a re rack on lane 25. Still only trailing by 10, very much in the match. His first TV appearance of the year made uh, three televised appearances last year with a win in Portland. Solid four for Wiseman. I believe that uh, the making of that 1 2 4 10, that's the first time that a split or a washout has been converted on the Pro Bowlers Tour this year. I hope my memory serves me right. I think you're right. No problem for Danny Wiseman, who uh, recently had. Uh, laser surgery on uh, both eyes so he no longer needs to wear contacts uh, or uh, glasses there was vision isn't his problem right now he is <laughs> Dave Arnold will he put more pressure on take it to 21 hang on and he does both these players have their sights set on winning the first major of the year Arnold now with a three bagger boy stoic Dave Arnold and Dave Arnold he had an opportunity to win a major back in 1996 the tournament of champions and uh, going into the 10th frame he needed to make a good shot and he didn't he threw a split Dave D'Entremont was the recipient of that a good fortune so uh, Arnold's been close he wants to get back and have another chance solid 10 and for Arnold two titles and he beat Walter Ray Williams both times. <laughs> this will be the solid 10. That's six.